Did you know that your kidneys can get damaged eating certain foods? Especially if you have a kidney condition, this is very, very true. But what is the best diet for your kidneys or a kidney disease? According to the American Society of Nutrition, a renal diet is commonly recommended for those with kidney conditions, especially those suffering from chronic kidney disease or end-stage kidney disease. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal what you should be eating to prevent kidney damage, especially if you have a kidney insufficiency to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. The kidneys are extremely precious organs we should be worried about keeping healthy. Once we lose them, there's no turning back. People who suffer from kidney conditions usually undergo a variety of therapies to preserve their function and one of the most important is diet. Foods have the incredible ability to heal or destroy kidney function. Let's not forget that they're the ones responsible for filtering out every vitamin, mineral, and waste product contained in our blood and digestion. Your kidneys can suffer serious consequences if you're not eating the right foods. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal what you should be eating to prevent kidney damage, especially if you have a kidney insufficiency to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Number one, what should your diet look like? Eating foods that are healthy for kidney function can be difficult. A good renal diet plan is one that restricts sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, three minerals that can be found in very common foods that we eat every single day. People with kidney insufficiency or kidney failure have a hard time regulating the concentration of these three micronutrients that can accumulate in their blood. If this happens, this contributes to problems like high blood pressure, fluid retention, swelling, bone disorders, heart arrhythmias, vascular calcifications, and much, much more. It becomes a total and complete nightmare, especially if you do not follow a healthy diet. And this is why it's so important that you regulate which foods you are consuming every single day and which ones you should be staying away from. Very, very important. If you need a quality formula that can help you preserve kidney function and health before it's too late, look for D-Berry and Uri Essence from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, avoid processed meats and decrease the consumption of red meat. Red meat, such as beef, lamb, or pork, can be included as part of a healthy diet in healthy individuals, but should be definitely avoided if you have a kidney disease. A study published by Duke Medical School in North Carolina has seen that eating red meat can boost the risk of kidney failure. Swapping even one daily meal with red meat for other proteins that are less damaging like fish, poultry, etc. can reduce the risk enormously. In this study, it was seen that those individuals who consume a higher amount of red meat actually showed a 40% higher risk of developing renal disease in the future. As a matter of fact, protein in kidney disease should be always limited. High intakes of any protein can be damaging to your kidneys. The consumption of protein should be evaluated by your physician. The consumption and the amount of protein you consume should be evaluated by your physician. This is very important. Do not ignore it. Number three, avoid consuming too much salt and certain minerals. Most patients with kidney disease have lost the ability to balance sodium and certain minerals in their entire body. This is the reason why they need to depend on dialysis machines to do the work for them. But this also means that people with kidney disease need to control what they eat, especially sodium and high mineral content foods that contain a lot of magnesium, 
phosphorus, and other minerals that are important. Most fruits, for example, have no sodium or very little sodium. Stick to whole fruits that are kidney-friendly foods like apples, berries, peaches, and pears. Fresh vegetables are also very important and your kidneys will be satisfied. Now, if you're gonna add salt to your diet, it's very important that it's no more than 2,000 milligrams per day. This is the equivalent of half a teaspoon per day. It's also important that you stay away from supplements that can raise your magnesium levels, your potassium, or your phosphorus. This is also very important. Number four, avoid whole wheat bread. Believe it or not, choosing the right bread can be confusing for individuals who have kidney disease. For healthy individuals, for example, whole wheat bread is usually recommended over refined or white flour breads. However, if you have kidney diseases, white bread is actually better for you due to its lower fiber, phosphorus, and potassium content. If you don't believe me, let me tell you that 30 grams of whole wheat bread contains close to 60 milligrams of phosphorus and 70 milligrams of potassium, which is a lot. It's the opposing amount to white bread, which contains only 30 milligrams of both phosphorus and potassium. So the difference is huge. Try to consume white bread instead of whole wheat bread. Number five, start consuming cranberries. Cranberries are probably one of the most effective and healthy natural fruits for kidney function. Just to have an idea of how much cranberries are precious to kidney protection, the American National Kidney and Urolic Diseases Information Clearinghouse officially endorses the use of cranberry juice, its fruit, or its extract to prevent kidney conditions. Cranberry is famous for having the power to flush out bacteria and other organisms responsible for creating the urinary tract infections we can see every day. UTIs are the second most common type of infection in the human body and terrible for kidney health and function. Now the good news is that cranberries can protect us, not only from kidney infections, but also from infections of the bladder, urethra, ureters, and more. I personally like to consume cranberry extract on a daily basis because I know that by doing this, I'm gonna prevent a lot of infections maybe in the future that I need to keep my kidneys healthy. If you need a quality formula that has an excellent cranberry extract along with Dima Nose and 10 different quality probiotics for kidney health, look for D-Berry from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number six, avoid dark colored colas and canned foods. Sugary drinks, but especially dark colored colas, are not healthy at all, especially if you have kidney disease or you want to keep your kidneys healthy. In addition to the excessive amount of sugar, colas also contain additives that have high amounts of phosphorus, which obviously is an ingredient you should be avoiding at all costs if you have kidney problems. Many food manufacturers add phosphorus during the processing of foods and beverages, so it's very important for you to check the labels before you buy something at the supermarket. And now the problem with adding this type of phosphorus is that it's much more absorbable by the human body, which later on carries on to have problems with our kidneys. So be very careful and check what you're buying every single day. Everything you are eating has an effect on your kidneys. Number seven, start consuming parsley. Parsley has been found to decrease urinary calcium and protein excretion, leading obviously to less formation of stones and a better kidney health. I personally think that parsley should be included to every single meal you have, especially if you wanna take good care of your kidneys. It has an anti-inflammatory effect and a diuretic effect as well. And how about the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or line in appointment, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic if you find valid information that might prevent the serotonin in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.